Okay, today we are going to show you how we fit all of this stuff in just a carry-on suitcase, along with a few other items, but we are not going to check anything for this trip. So we're going to show you step-by-step -step of how we pack for a two-week-long vacation. If you're new here, we're Steve, Jess, and Briggs. We are parents who said yes to continue travel and adventures after having a baby. We share all the beautiful and messy moments that come with traveling with babies and toddlers, along with the incredible destinations we visit. You can keep up with us in our current travels on platforms like Instagram and TikTok. And of course, you can learn more at wheresbriggs.com. Okay, here's all of the things that we need to pack. We've got my clothes over here. We've got Briggs' clothes. We have his car seat, his cover, a hip carrier, a belt bag, diapers, stroller, diaper bag, all the accessories that go inside the diaper bag. We've got a lot of things. So I'm gonna show you how we do it without having to check any luggage. Okay, and here are his clothes that I will be packing for the trip. You'll notice that a lot of these pieces actually can be mixed and matched, which is on purpose because if he gets a stain on one of them or has a blowout or anything like that, I can kind of switch them around. I'm packing enough that will last for a week and then I can do laundry with them afterwards. Um, so you'll notice that these are all different sets. I just like to lay them out, kind of see them together. And then I've got two different swim outfits for him as well. In this corner, I've placed all of my clothes that I'm gonna be packing. I have like five to six dresses and then a couple of swimsuits and then just kind of some random items like swimsuit cover-ups, shorts, socks, you know, the drill. So I am just gonna dump all of this in this corner along with everything else in the room so we can get all organized. Moving on to his diaper bag. These are all of the things that I'm gonna be throwing into his diaper bag. We've been traveling with the No Reception Club diaper bag and it is amazing. I'll put a discount code for them down here in the video. Um, but anyways, that's the diaper bag. Moving on, we have our stroller. We have some of my toiletries that I'll be bringing. We are gonna bring all of his diapers. I'll show you how we get away with it. I've got a hip carrier, a belt bag, and then his car seat along with his cover. Okay, so instead of trying to fit all like the clothes inside of the luggage, just like shoving it down, we're going to use these bags and I'm gonna show you how much space that you can save because this is an example of, I've got all the clothes in here, but I don't even have like our toiletries or anything like that inside of the bag. So let me show you how much space that you can save by using these vacuum storage bags. So I'm just going to take one of these vacuum seal bags and I'm going to stuff all of Briggs's clothes in here. Um, I don't have, when he was a baby, I had like this cool folding way that I would use to fold both of his like onesies, pair of pants and some socks and like put the socks on the very end. Now that he's gotten bigger, the socks when they're trying to like fit on the ends of his rolled up clothes actually have become like stretched out. So I'm not using that anymore. But with this approach by using the vacuum seal bag, you actually won't really need any fancy methods of folding, although you totally can if you'd like to. Um, so for this, um, as you can see here, these are all of his clothes. I'm also gonna throw in some of my swimsuits into this bag as well, just because there is gonna be some excess space. Okay, so there we have it. We've got the bag filled up with all of his clothes that he'll be using for the next two weeks, along with my swimsuits. Um, so I'm just going to seal the bag up. Okay, now it's time to vacuum seal it. So um, these bags do come with like a handheld pump. It's about this um, big. The problem that I have with it is it does take up more space inside of the bag. So what I use instead is this little tiny pump, if you can see it. Let's see if it'll focus. No. <laughs> Anyways, I'll link it in the video below. Um, but this has been so awesome to have because not only will it inflate things, but it can also deflate um, items like vacuum sealed bags. And it won't take up nearly as much space inside of the um the bag that i'm going to carry onto the plane um yeah just because it's that that small it's you know as small as my hand palm of my hand so let me show you how this works um 
instead of using this side where you typically will blow up things or inflate things, you're actually gonna use the opposite side. There's a little attachment that comes with it. I just screw it on and then I will just insert it here and then suck all the air out of this bag. And then once that's screwed on, all you're gonna do is double tap it and it will take all the air out. And then it, this, the, bag, the bag comes with like a little top that you'll just seal it with. And look how small that is already. <laughs> it's just gonna lay so much more flat in the suitcase. Um, looking at it, I wish I would have spaced it out just a little bit more because it's a little thicker on this side and it goes thinner, but you know, it, it'll work for this time around. Um, but just, yeah, instead of like holding it up like I did and trying to do it, lay it flat down on the ground and then suck all the air out and then it will be a little bit more even when you put it inside the bag. Okay, and this is what the final product looks like. Here's the first bag. And then I was able to fit all my toiletries alongside of it. And then here is the second bag and it fits just right on top. And there's still a little bit of extra space on top that I can fill it up and along the sides and then on this side as well. So it definitely just saves a ton of space by using these vacuum seal bags. And lastly, don't forget to bring your pump with you because you will need to reseal these bags when you're done with vacation and are ready to fly home. Okay, next up, I'm going to show you how I sometimes can save a little bit of space by packing the car seat with some few extra items thrown inside of the car seat bag. So, Without further ado, this is the car seat bag that we travel with. I really like it. It's padded and it helps protect the car seat as best as it can when we travel with it and need to check it. Um, so I just place my car seat inside of it. And then there's a ton of extra space that you'll notice because of the indent of the car seat itself. So what I like to do is I like to throw our diapers that we're going to be needing for our trip inside of the bag. And then as you can tell, there's still a little bit of extra space. So um, for example, I could throw in like the hip carrier that I'm gonna be bringing on vacation. And sometimes I've thrown in like extra blankets, a coat, a jacket, um, a life jacket before, anything that can kind of fit inside of it. I also like to, just for the sake of the car seat itself, not throw in anything that's like hard, uh, pointy, or anything that could potentially damage the car seat. I like to throw in a little bit of extra padding just so it can actually protect the car seat just a little bit in the case of it's being handled um, pretty roughly. So, and then you'll just zip it up like this. I'm not gonna zip it up all the way right now, but then you can check this or you can gate check this. Now, I will say a couple of different things about this strategy is there's not really an official stance by the airlines of like, if they allow you to throw some extra items in or not. So keep in mind, you could be asked to remove the items. Um, with all of our trips that we've taken, I have yet to come across an airline employee that made us remove the things. In fact, they typically don't even look inside of the car seat bag when you check it typically um, at the counter. Um, but just something to be prepared for if they do in fact make you take things out. I like to keep things, for example, you saw the diapers. Worst case scenario, I throw them away. Okay, I'll have to buy some on in our destination. Um, or like the hip carrier that I threw in there, I can hurry and just place that on me um, and walk onto the plane with it on. So just keep that in mind. Um, like I said, I have yet to run into anybody that was stingy and made me throw things out. Um, but it could always be a possibility, but this is a great way to save some space so you don't have to check a bag. Okay, the next thing that we need to talk about is the stroller. So on all US domestic airline flights, the stroller you can check or gate check for free. Most international airlines, you can also check a stroller for free or gate check a stroller for free. I can't say 100% of the time because international airlines do make their own rules. So just be sure to check with them, but I can almost guarantee you that you'll be able to check the stroller um, for free. This is the same as like, that car seat bag that we just previously packed up. Um, most airlines, um, all domestic um, in the United States airlines will let you check a car seat bag for free, either at the desk or at the gate. Um, 
once again, international airlines, they do come with their own set of rules. So be sure to check with them before um, just assuming that they're going to let you check the car seat for free. Um, moving on to the stroller. This one that I'm bringing this time is the Ergo Baby Stroller. I like this one because it is compact. So if I wanted to, um, and if there's enough space on the airplane, I can fit it in the bin, in the overhead bin on the actual aircraft itself. Um, most of the time though, I'm totally fine to gate check a stroller. I will use it during our airplane experience. And then as soon as we're about to board, right at the end of the jet bridge is where you're going to hand off your stroller. Um, what I do recommend having is like a bag. This one, it does come with this um, backpack style carry bag. Um, I will say this isn't padded at all. This is just going to protect from like the minor scuffs, um, any rain, germs, or anything like that. Um, even though it doesn't have, a, uh, like doesn't come with a padded stroller bag, it's still better than nothing. So if you do plan on checking your stroller, I do recommend having some sort of bag just to keep it um, a little bit protected, even if it's just from germs. Um, there are some padded um, car seat bags on the market today, which are awesome. It will just protect your stroller even a little bit better. But for now, we're going to place the stroller inside of our stroller bag. And there you have it. And then this can just go right onto my back. And so even if I wasn't wanting to use the actual stroller in the airport, I could just wear it on my backpack and then I can check this either at the counter or the gate for free, for example, on this domestic flight that we're going to be taking this week. Okay, the next thing that we're gonna be packing is the diaper bag. Um, I've got most of the things here on the floor that I'm going to be throwing in. There's a few things that I need to use tonight um, that I'll throw in the bag tomorrow before we start our drive. Um, I'll show you a couple of the different items that I'm gonna throw on this diaper bag, but I will say, and I'll link below, there is a website that I have like a full packing list for either a baby that's zero to 12 months old or a baby that's 12 months to two years old. Um, and those both are free packing lists that you can download right from our website. So I'll make sure to link that below. But for now, let me just walk you through some of the items that I'll be bringing. So of course we'll bring the diaper and the wipes. I also will say, make sure you pack extra diapers just in case you never know, especially nowadays, it seems like there's always flight delays or cancellations. It's better to be prepared and have a little bit extra than not enough. Um, then moving on to his toys, he's at an age where he definitely loves to have toys on the flight. So I've got a lot of different toys that we're going to be bringing. Um, I have, if you're looking for like the best age appropriate toys for like a baby or a toddler, on my Amazon storefront, I have two different sections that go over all the toys that we travel with on the plane that have been really awesome to have. Um, so be sure to check out that website. There's also a company and I'll link them below. They're called Mini Voyager and they create these sets for travel, like whether you're road tripping or on the airplane and they make like personalized sets of toys for your kids to travel with. So they're an awesome company to check out as well. Um, just a few other things. I'm, of course, we'll be bringing some snacks. I've got his straw sippy cup. Um, I do bring a sound machine on the flight. Now, a lot of people wonder like, why do you bring a sound machine if the plane just sounds like white noise? And that's true. And that's totally fine if your baby doesn't need um, white noise, but Briggs thrives and sleeps so much better when he has a sound machine. So I will bring this portable one um, with us on the flight. It just helps block out some other random noises that may occur, whether that be, you know, an announcement on the loudspeakers or somebody opening up a bag of chips next to us. Or for example, there was a time that I took a sip of my Diet Coke after I had got him to sleep, finally took a sip of my Diet Coke and it went down the wrong tube and I started coughing and woke my own baby up. So I just like to have a sound machine just to try and help block out some of that, the outside noise. Um, I'll also bring a change of clothes for him. Enough said, right? Babies spit up, there's blowouts. Just having a change of clothes is really nice. Um, I'll also bring a wet bag with me. Once again, for those times where they ruin those clothes, you have this wet bag to uh, just try and throw the clothes in. And then when you get to your destination, you can wash them and get them taken care of. Um, I will say with this travel diaper bag that I have, um, from No Reception Club. Um, 
there is at the bottom a wet bag like compartment which is super nice if you don't have a wet bag the only reason why I like bringing my own is because this is a lot easier to throw in the laundry machine than having to like clean out this section of the bag so worst case scenario right I'll use this it's you know, waterproof and everything like that. So I can stuff the dirty clothes in here, but I do like to have this bag because it is just nice to be able to take care of. Um, like I said, this isn't everything that I pack. Um, go download that free list. Um, so you know exactly what I'm throwing in my travel diaper bag, but this will give you a good idea of what I'm going to be throwing in here and the diaper bag that I'm going to be using on our two week vacation. Okay, and just like that, we finally finished packing for our two week adventure with no checked bags, which is even better because gosh, babies are expensive. And so if I can save some money on checked baggage, um, even better, I can spend that, you know, on diapers or whatnot. So just to recap, here is our car seat bag. Inside we've got the car seat, obviously. Um, and then we've got some diapers. We have that hip carrier. Um, and I think that's all that we've shoved in this bag. Um, the next one we have is the actual carry-on that will come onto the plane with us. Most airlines will allow you one free carry-on. I can't say that about all international or budget airlines, uh, but most of them will allow a carry-on for free. Um, I have all of Briggs and I's, like our clothes, our toiletries, just like random items. I've all stowed it in here. The next thing you'll see here is the stroller bag inside there is a stroller. Now I did wanna say something that I forgot to mention when we were covering the stroller aspect. Um, if you are using a stroller bag, an, an additional benefit, excuse me, for using one of those bags is there's usually some extra space that you can stuff, whether that be you know coats, diapers, an extra change of clothes, whatever inside of this checked stroller bag, saving you just a little bit more space in your other bags, along with not, you don't have to check a bag for that extra stuff. And then the last item is our diaper bag that we packed. This includes all the stuff that we're gonna need on our travel day. So there you have it. Here are all of the items that we are gonna be traveling with for our two weeks. I know a common question I'm going to, going to get is, where is like the travel crib? This trip, we're not going to be bringing a travel crib just because of the two places that we're going have one available for him to use. Um, so we're not gonna worry about that um, this trip. I think if, if you do have any other questions, feel free to drop them in the comments below. Um, I'll do my best to answer all of them. But in short, this is what we are going to be packing for our two weeks. And I'm happy to say that we did not have to check any bags. Thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe to our channel for more videos and updates about traveling with babies and toddlers.